ask you, during that person, sure. um, of all the presidents we've had in the United States history, which one do you think is the best? The best, the least bad. Well, my no, I've got yeah, I've got my my favorite is, is Martin Van Buren. I think he's great. Uh, Martin Van Buren was a was a um, was a Jack, he was a Jacksonian. He was also is a Jacksonian minus the military adventurism of Jackson. Jackson was a general. So he tended to go out and you know, crush the Indians, crush the, the British, and that sort of stuff. So, and whereas the, was, uh, Van Buren was pro, was pro peace. He was a laissez faire liberal. He was in favor of hard money, total separation of government from money, from banking, from almost, from almost everything. Uh, and uh, very smart. And he also was one of the few people in politics who was able to maneuver and yet do it on a basis of principle. It's very difficult, of course, to do it, as we know in the LP even. How do you, <laughs> when you don't have much power, okay? How do you how do you maintain your principles and not sell out and all that and yet be able to be able to maneuver and screw your opposition and things like that? He, and he was able to do it. It was just great. It's a marvelous role model, it seems to me, for real world politics. I mean, see, the thing is, most of libertarian historians when they go back, they, they look at Lysander Spooner, people like that. Of course, are great. I love Lysander Spooner. On the other hand, we should also look at politicians. Were there any really good politicians who were able to maneuver within the system and make it better? My bureau is an outstanding example. Uh, Jefferson was great, except when he was in power. He was in power, of course, he totally sold out. It, before he got out of power and after he was in power, he was great. Okay. Uh, but Van Buren was pretty good even in power. He concluded peace with Britain at a time when there was a big sentiment for war with Britain. He, he, uh, and, so, and generally, it was, was terrific. He was weak, weak on the Indian question, I admit. Uh, almost everybody was weak on the Indian question, on the libertarian Indian question. Uh, but anyway, that was the... So I, I think Van Buren was by far the best, my favorite. Um, and there's not too much after that. There's <laughs> Rover Cleveland's first term wasn't too bad. So Cleveland, you see, was, was in favor of the Inter Interstate Commerce Commission. He, 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 that was his big deviation. So it's a tough, uh, you know, it's a tough situation. I would, I would think, I mean, in the 20th century, my favorite, of course, was Warren Harding, kind of a lovable character. Even though he's a protectionist, he didn't do a hell of a lot, playing poker and all that sort of thing. It's, I mean, that's descending from Van Buren's loftier eminence. <laughs> but, 